hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c divided by square root of c is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of these roots are solution or which of these roots are extraneous root of the given equation so here we solve this problem uh, for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, in the first method uh, we uh, move this k root of c to the right hand side so it is divided by left hand side when we move in the right hand side it is multiplied by 5 so after moving this value to the right hand side it will be written as c is equals to 5 times of square root of c and uh, now further in the next step we uh, need uh, to eliminate the square root sign from right hand side for this we will take a scaling on both of the sides so when we will take squaring it will be written as c square is equals to 5 times of square root of c and its whole square so further in the next step we have this is c square and here we have 5 square is equals to 25 and square root of c and its whole square so this two and this square root are gone and we will get here c only so further in the next step we move this 25 times of c in the left hand side it will be written as c square minus 25 times of c is equals to 0 so further in the next step you see here uh, both of these terms involve c so we will take common c from here and after taking common c we will get here c minus 25 is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 25 is equals to 0 so this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we easily get the value of c is equals to 25 and this is the our second root of the given equation so from first method we get the two roots of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify these two roots and we will check that is these two roots are satisfied our given question statement or not so for the verification of the root first we need to copy down the given question statement here it is c divided by square root of c is equals to 5 and here we have uh, we verify these two roots so uh, here in this side we take c is equals to 0 and in this side we will take c is equals to 25 and we verify both of these roots so here first we need to focus in c is equals to 0 and when uh, we substitute c is equals to 0 into the left hand side it will be written as uh, 0 over 0 because we know that c is 0 and square root of c is also 0 is equals to 5 so you see here when we take c is equals to 0 our left hand side becomes 0 over 0 form or in other words we say that it is the uh, indeterminate form okay it is the indeterminate form so uh, if this is indeterminate form uh, in other words in other words we just say that it is undefined form okay uh, so it is undefined uh, so it means that when we choose c0 our left hand side will becomes undefined uh, so it means that c is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so c is equals to 0 is the uh, extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the uh, extraneous root and now here uh, we check uh, or we verify our second root and here we have the second root is c is equals to 25 and again we substitute c is equals to 25 in the left hand side and after choosing this value our left hand side is written as uh, this will becomes 25 divided by this is square root of 25 
uh, and here we check that is this equals to 5 or not and now you see here we have this is uh, 25 divided by this is square root of 25 uh, and we know that square root of 25 is equals to 5 and we check that is this equals to 5 or not so we need to cancel these terms and we have this is 5 times of 5 becomes 25 and we get here 5 is equals to 5 so we satisfied our given question statement so we say that c is equals to 25 be the only one root or only one solution of the given equation okay uh, so uh, here this is our first method and now here we again solve this problem uh, for second method and in second method uh, we first copy down our given question statement here the given question statement is c divided by square root of c is equals to 5 so this is the our given question statement and here we use uh, the square uh, root uh, the square root law we know that if you have square root of a is multiplied by square root of a it is equals to a only so according to this rule uh, we write this c as square root of c multiplied by square root of c and it is divided by square root of c is equals to 5 and from here you clearly see that this square root of c is cancelled out by this square root of c and we will get here square root of c is equals to 5 and because we solve this problem for the values of c for this we need to take a squaring on both of the sides so when we will take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as square root of c and its whole square is equals to 5 square in the left hand side you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here c is equals to this is 5 square and 5 square is equals to 25 so here we get the value of c is equals to 25 so in second method we get here only one root of the given equation and that is c is equals to 25 and in the uh, back steps you see here c is equals to 25 is satisfied our given question statement we will verify it here and uh, clearly you see that so finally we say that in second method we have only one solution of the given equation and that is c is equals to 25. So this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.